way that the brain processes faces is very weird. Uh, it seems that our brain actually like snips out all any face you see in the sort of environment, splits it in half, sends the left half to the right hemisphere for processing and vice versa, and then brings the two halves of that face back together in your right hemisphere, a um, tortured way of, of uh, sort of analyzing right. faces. Basically, your brain like plots faces on 50 dimensional face um, plot. And basically at the center of that uh, is a archetypical face, like the most right. average of all the faces you've seen, maybe not in your whole life, but in some developmentally critical time period. Right. And what might be an example of, of a dimension, like the, you know, the, the width between eyes, the height of the cheekbones, are these all sort of typical dimensions that might go into that? You know, it's very hard to sort of name them when, when you right. sort of decompose it. But uh, I remember the researcher said like face texture, like the text, the smooth or roughness of skin was one of them. But yeah. really interesting about faces and the thing that's sort of still mysterious to researchers is the fact that we see them very holistically, or at mm -hmm. least neurotypical people see them very holistically. So if you look at a face upside down, it is not going to hang together it, it, the same way. Like you have a lot, you're a lot slower to recognize celebrities or people if the face is upside down. So if right. you want to know what it's like to be me, to so, like in some way, you could just look at a celebrity face upside down and be like, what, who is that? You know? <laughs> and yeah. Probably it will take you longer to recognize that person. It's incredible.